Okay, so this is Captain Sam G, and I'm bringing you Spider-Man vs. The Kingpin. Not so much because it's an amazing game, but partly because I need to fill up some time before the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game comes out, and I can't think of another game that I can do an entire playthrough for in that amount of time. And also partly because the cutscenes in this are hilarious. Um, voice acting? Probably not what you're used to. And... The gameplay is pretty good as well. A little bit clunky, but I'll be able to get through it no problem. <laughs> so let's get to it, and I hope you really, really enjoy these spectacular, amazing, ridiculous cutscenes. These are the New York offices of the Daily Bugle, where young Peter Parker is employed as a freelance photographer. Peter's work on this large daily newspaper has brought him into contact with some of the more unsavory characters that roam the streets of the city. Boy, what an ugly bunch! The nastiest batch of criminals in the world, and New York's got them. Lucky thing, they've also got Spider-Man. Only Peter's wife, Mary Jane, knows his extraordinary secret. That he is not merely the pleasant and conventional young man he seems. Mary Jane! Hi, Tiger. Hi, honey. What's up? I was just on my way to the studio to take today's episode of Secret Hospital. Thought I'd stop by and get a kiss. If you're not too busy, of course. Now there's something I'm never too busy for. <laughs> that ought to keep me happy until dinner. See you then? Yep. See you tonight. She's being attacked! When trouble arises, as it does so often, Peter Parker is no longer just an ordinary newspaper photographer, but something else entirely. Something with the strength, endurance, and power of... Looks like it's time to call on your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! So yeah, don't consider this to be a continuation of the Spidey Saga. I finished that timeline and this is just so vastly different to those games that I played. Okay, just familiarizing myself with the controls a little. I've only played a couple minutes of this just to test the settings and stuff for the microphone. Hello you. Job done. Officer, that nice young man in the long underwear saved my purse and all my money. Good work, Spider-Man. It's a good thing you came along when you did. You're the best friend this city ever had. I'm just glad you're on our side. I was just doing my job, officer. Happy to be of help. Young man, I don't know what I would have done without you, but you really shouldn't run around in public dressed like that. Yes, ma'am. I'll keep it in mind. Goodbye, Spider-Man. That young man is a real hero. He certainly is, ma'am. I don't know what this city would do without him. Let's see what's on TV. We interrupt our regularly scheduled broadcast to present this special emergency report from Wilson Fisk, a concerned citizen and one of our city's leading businessmen. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fisk. Kingpin. What do you suppose he's up to now? Whatever it is, it's bound to be bad news for New York and for Spider-Man. Fellow citizens of New York. It is my painful duty to make you aware that a monstrous crime has been perpetrated against us by a man we thought was our ally. It has come to my attention that Spider-Man has turned renegade against the forces of law and order. Hey, that was back when Jonah had everyone convinced I was a crook. And I didn't hurt those cops. He is perpetrating one monstrous crime after another 
all across our city. <laughs> <laughs> I never did that. Oh, my poor doggy. And now he has devised the most ghastly crime of his career. He has planted a bomb that will explode in exactly oh, 24 hours, destroying the entire city. I certainly never did that. I am offering a reward of $500,000 for Spider-Man's capture, in hopes that he can be forced to reveal the location of the bomb before it is too late. We must protect ourselves from the super criminal Spider-Man. Peter! What are you going to do? If there's really a bomb, it'll be Kingpin's doing. I'll have to find it and disarm it in the next 24 hours. But the police are going to think you're the criminal. Don't worry about that, Mary Jane. The police know I'm on their side. I want an all-point bulletin issued for the arrest of Spider-Man. Consider it done, sir. Who would have thought Spider-Man would turn on us? Now we're going to have to turn this city upside down to find him before that bomb goes off. Let's get on it! Oh, what an amazing storyline. Just absolutely flawless. Perfection. Well, that's all the exposition we need. Kingpin is trying to frame us with that excellent slideshow he put on. Let's stop him. So we've got all of these locations, all of these little blips on the map that we can visit, but not going to because it's just fighting random thugs and the cops who are misinformed about us. And, you know, I don't want to be going around fighting cops. I want to try and avoid that. So what we really need to find are supervillain hangouts. Such as this. So let's go face Doc Ock and anything that stands in our way. Oh, okay, vent straight away, classic spider. Okay, so um, the controls are a little bit clunky in this game, but it's probably a combination of the game being very old, not much choice between buttons and actions, and me playing on a keyboard on top of that. And yeah, as you just saw, Spidey's main move in this game is punching guys in the testicles. Because why not? Okay, can't go that way. Oh, sorry Pooch, don't want to fight you, don't want to hurt you. Just to make sure that guy can never have children. Oh, okay, let's head back up. Okay, can't actually go any further this way, so... Man, Spider is just brutal in this game. Okay, maybe just keep heading further down. Oh, sorry Pooch. Don't want to hurt you, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, down into another vent. I guess further and further down I go. Ah, oh, damn bats. I don't mind hurting you though. Okay, dead end. That was just some health and stuff up there. Ooh, okay, hidden passageway. How did Doc Ock get all of these bats working for him? Is Morbius here as well? Okay, let's just bypass a hell of a lot of stuff. Just go overhead. Okay, let's try going through that vent. That'll probably help me out a lot. And rats as well. Okay, so Morbius and Vermin are helping Doc Ock out. Yeah, just bypass all of these guys. As you can see, I actually have a time limit. So, don't want that bomb to go off. Okay, can I go up here? Nope. Hmm. 
man spider. I wish you could run or something. I mean, a bomb could go off at any time. And you're just strutting around like you own the place. Ooh, okay, that platform went up. Okay. Boss battle against Dumpcock. Man, he's got quite a reach on him. And he's beating the hell out of me. Okay, just gotta keep moving close to him. If I stay too far back, his massive reach still gets me. There we go. You've been disarmed, Doc. Why don't you come clean and tell me what the Kingpin is up to this time? Is there really a bomb planted somewhere? Yes. You arachnoid moron, for all the good it'll do you. Kingpin's fixed it so you'll never be able to disarm it either. It takes five keys to stop the bomb's internal clock, and they have to be inserted in the proper order, or the whole thing goes boom. <laughs> I don't get it. Why would the Kingpin want to blow up his own city? This isn't about one measly city, Bug Breath. It's about world domination and getting rid of you once and for all. We'll be safe when it happens, never you fear. <laughs> Tell me where to find the keys or I'll cut you up for calamari. I don't know where all of them are, but you might try looking in Central Park for one of them. And if you want another, you'll have to go to the sewer and take it away from the lizard. You're using Kurt Connor's affliction as a tool to defeat me? Hasn't that poor man suffered enough? I find fathers to be very useful, and I don't think you'll be quite as sympathetic after he beats you to a bloody pulp. Why don't you, uh, stick tight for a while, Doc? The police will be by after I call them and tell them where to find you. Meanwhile, I've got some keys to find. Arbogast. Alright, so if I die, need to punch that in. Okay, so we need to find a bunch of keys to deactivate this bomb. So let me go around the map and find the next supervillain hideout. Might be Kurt Connors, seeing as Doc Ock just told me about him. I don't know, it just depends on whichever one I come across first. I don't know if there are multiple ones. Well, looks like I'm fighting Electro then. And looking at the amount of time I've been playing this for so far, uh, join me next time where I battle against Electro and whatever other supervillains are in this game. I think there's quite a lot. So until next time, bye for now.